Hey everybody, today we are looking at the BQEYZ Summer, and this is their latest IM that they have. Uh, this is a successor to the Spring, uh, which came in a 1 and a 2 version, uh, slightly differently tuned from what I understand. I, I had this Spring 1, I did not have the Spring 2, uh, looking at it. As you can see, a uh, very beautiful uh, acrylic shell here. It says summer right there. Kind of looks like water on a pond. Looking at it like you would see on a summer's day with a gentle breeze. Has this nice um, kind of duck shape to it, making it very ergonomic. There's some really good isolation here. A nice seal, at least for my ears. Nice wide shower head nozzle. Not the longest nozzle, but far from the shortest that I have. Those seem to go on quite easy as well. These tips are really good too. I like the tips that it comes with. Uh, the blue over, I, over the black ones mostly, but they're both good. So it's a nice shape. Um, it's got decent build quality for something that is uh, plasticky, kind of. You know, I, I'm not sure. I don't think this is really resin, but it definitely isn't cheap plastic either. You can see the drivers inside. We'll get into the specs in just a second. I'm just enjoying the look of this. I love this color. It comes in two colors, a darker one and this one. I'm glad that they sent this one because this blue is very pretty and Blue also being my favorite color. Very nice build. Um, it's very lightweight, which, which adds to the comfort. I found these extremely comfortable for long, long periods of time. It didn't bother me at all. Put that off to the side. You see the nice box here. Some, some nice uh, it says summer with some nice palm there then you get the specs right here and this of course is a sleeve because underneath is the box when you open this up you would be presented with the summers right there then you open it up and the case would be right here which i'll show you in just a minute and then of course you get a variety of size tips as well both black and the opaque with blue so we'll just put that back now um, seems to be upside down. This quality earphone for you. They do make some good quality earphones. They don't make a heck of a lot of earphones. They've, they've only had a few models in the history of the company. Uh, they're not like, you know, KZ popping one out uh, every six months. There's a new dynamic and a new all-balanced armature. They stick to the, the, the good recipe that they have. They have a triple hybrid driver system, and they stick to it. And they make some really good for the money IMs. That is for sure. And this one looks really good. I don't care. You know, a lot of people faulting it. Why isn't it made out of aluminum like the spring? The summer looks really good. Uh, and it's lighter weight. Uh, and it's a bit more comfortable, in my opinion. And there was nothing wrong with the spring as it was. Or at least the one from when I tested it sounded great. It was built solid. Uh, it was comfortable. These just a little bit more comfortable, obviously lighter. You can use them for longer periods of time. Well, let's listen to the specs now. I'm looking at it. It is a hybrid driver system, a tribrid, um, consisting of a five-layer piezoelectric, a dynamic driver, and a balanced armature. Uh, it has a PULCP diaphragm. It is a 13 millimeter dynamic driver, 32 ohms impedance, 107 decibels of sensitivity. Frequency response is 7 to 40 kilohertz. The cable length is 1.2 meters, and it is a 0 0.78 millimeter two pin connector. The termination for this comes in three different kinds. You can get a 3.5, or you can get a 2.5 or 4.4 millimeter balanced. So 
beautiful kind of lavender box, by the way. And I'll put that like that, so you can see that. Um, let's get into, put that right off to the back there, so you can still see them. We'll get into this. I've done this video a few times, so the cable is kind of, I'll just undo it. It's got a nice uh, cable organizer with it. Looking at the cable, we have the end. This one, of course, is the 3.5 millimeter. Nice aluminum gold plating there. Nice thickness to the braid. This is a uh, silver plated copper crystalline cable. Uh, I've seen some reviews where they didn't like the cable for some reason. There's nothing wrong with this cable build wise. Now, sound wise, maybe there are much better paired cables for this device. I will be testing different cables to see, preferably uh, one that's just pure copper and also one that's pure silver to see, you know, what, what differences in the sound it's going to make. There's your splitter right there. It's tapered like an hourglass and then it has this nice flat slider. And we go all the way up to the preformed air hooks and even the two pin connectors are metal as well. So that's some good quality. That's a, that, it's a good quality uh, cable. I'm just going to wrap it up nice and neat now and wrap that around so the case wise the case is is basically the same case as the other ones with that cord off to the side uh very similar to the other that is the protector by the way that goes on that uh very similar to the, the springs except for this one is a pretty marble it's a bit more fancy looking a bit more premium looking because it's got this marbled kind of leather that you would find on uh, like a fine uh, briefcase or something. Did, does anybody actually have a briefcase anymore? I don't know. I have been for years. I've been using sling packs and backpacks. You have a nice brush to clean off them, especially in the summer months. Uh, so that's nice to be included. I don't think I have too many premium ones that have that. You get a premium feel here. You get some nice tips in the box. You get a, a nice looking silver plated cable. You get a nice little case that's a hard case that should protect them quite well. Uh, and then they, they look nice. They really do. And, uh, you know, I for one usually like metal IMs, but when I see something that's in this beautiful color blue i absolutely go gaga over it because i actually like blue very much and i find these very pretty so uh, to recap i like these <laughs> i didn't know if you noticed that yes i like these i like the way they look i like the comfort in them and i, I find the build quality very good um People think it's a step down because it's uh, plastic and not metal. Uh, and I don't like to use the term plastic because they always use such a high quality, you know, acrylic or resin in the build quality of most of these. Um, there are some out there, some really cheap ones that are made out of just plastic. Uh, I've never done a review on them because they've usually gone in the garbage before I've had a chance to do anything. These, however, it feels nice in the hand. It feels premium enough. Uh, especially considering the price of these. Um, but how do they sound? Well, let's get into the sound then. Bass-wise, I found the bass on these very refreshing, as it did have a decent amount of sub-bass, even though it rolled off kind of uh, fast. Um, it did have sub-bass when called upon. There was a definitely a nice rumble there in the sub bass, especially uh, lo-fi and hip-hop type music. Um, then you get into the mid bass, and the mid bass is the star here. It has very good authority, uh, some great details, it's fast, it's thumpy. Um, it's quite good, and it does bleed slightly into the mids, giving the mids a nice warmth. Now the mids overall are uh, forward, and plenty of details there um, some very good separation some decent uh, amount of energy in the mids uh, I found them to be uh, quite 
you know, emotional with the warmth, being that the male vocals uh, sounded ex very, they sounded exceptional. They sounded very good. Um, not to say that female vocals didn't sound good, but the male vocals were just, wow, just great. So smooth and, and full of details. It was actually relaxing. Um, I like that a lot. I like that because it's, it's not every day you get a uh, bass that is warm and then you get really good details at the same time. So I found that great. Um, it's unique uh, compared to, say, some of the other ones that are in my favorite group. These guys were in my favorite. The Springs were in my favorite for years. And I still love them. And I never got to try the Spring 2s, but I always liked the Springs and I always kept them. And... The only thing that pushed them out of my favorites were these guys, because it's a newer version. Same typical driver setup that BQ EYZ uses, but they've toned it to a point where I found it just really refreshing. And I like these a lot, seriously. Um, I can't stress that. We get into the treble. Now, treble's a little controversial because it's neutral, because it's bright, but it's rich with details. There's some really good sparkle there. And I think... Uh, there are some spikes there, and they can be uh, prominent depending on your chain of equipment. Um, most of my equipment, like the Diablo, the Q3, um, the x and the hip DAC, and also my SMSL stack, which consists of the SP200 and the M100 uh, DAC, sounded great. Uh, the Sound Davo, with its Burr Brown chip, really good. It's very warm. Um, made these sound really nice. Uh, it lended to that analog sound of those, those particular type of amps that I have. So it sounds really good. Um, but the highs do tend to have a few spikes and I can see things like classical music and violins and stuff like that. Uh, treble sensitive people might not appreciate that. Everybody else I think will like these quite a bit, uh, and find that the, the, the neutral bright sound was very rich with details and that the sparkle just came across really good and the very good tuned and all but the most stalwart um, you know people will you know not like the treble uh, if you're very sensitive to treble maybe and it's maybe it's not a definite I'm not there this is not a KZ product uh, this is not going to you know, pierce your ears with the sonic drill. And not that I don't like KZ. I love a good KZ with its V-shape. You can expect that with a V-shape all the time. You can expect the bass to be deep and the highs to be there. And somewhat of a balance there sometimes. And somewhat of an over-presence there sometimes. But they're still enjoyable to a point. These are not like that. Uh, these are not super deep bass and super piercing highs. The highs just have some really good sparkle to them um, because it's brighter. It's neutral and brighter. There's more detail there. Um, spikes are definitely a rarity. I don't listen to too much classical, so I don't really have to worry about that. Um, then we get into the sound stage. My goodness, this has some good sound stage. I, I'm assuming this is roughly the shape. I wish I had taken the spring out to put it next to him. But uh, if this thing has some amazing sound stage. Really, it's nice, uh, very wide, maybe not so deep as it is wide, but it's, it's very organic sounding. Um, it doesn't sound overly done like the, the 7.1 headphones that I have. You know, the sound stage is nice because it's wide and all that, but it does sound kind of phony. This is very, very natural sounding in its sound stage, and there's some great imaging here, uh, making this, you know, very good for gaming, watching movies, stuff like that, which you, I can't say about every IM. I mean, you definitely can't say that about every IM, that it's good for movies and gaming. Some IMs are just too bassy or have no sound stage whatsoever, or sometimes it's just so wide that it's just really unnatural sounding, and it's kind of like listening to a loud TV from across the room or something like that sometimes. This is not that. This is good. I like the soundstage. Um, so it's paired with a bunch of devices. Uh, you can see we got the Diablo, we got that stuff, and then the SML stacks are in another room, and then the iFi Zen stacks are in another room as well. 
So it's spread out. I used to have everything in one spot. Now I don't have everything in one spot anymore because it's kind of silly uh, to have everything there. If I'm using it, I'll just go to the room that it's in. Um, so I paired it with all the different devices. Uh, on average, it sounded fine with every device, uh, except for maybe the Oon. I didn't like the Oon, but that's not a reflection on the, the spring uh, and the summers. Uh, it's more of a reflection on the Oon itself, because it, with my AKGs, I hate the Oon as well. Um, not that the Oon isn't a good device, it's just I don't like it with some things. It's just overly neutral and bright, and, uh, you know, it just... I don't like the sound at all. As a matter of fact, it's going to be going to be leaving the fold very soon because I'm just done with it. Um, so, in a nutshell, it's comfortable. Uh, it, it has a decent build quality for the price. Uh, the accessories are fantastic. The sound, you, I can't be nitpicking with any spikes or the fact that the sub bass isn't as rumbly as as some people would want. For the price, this thing is is uniquely tuned. Uh, it's a bit different. I mean, it's not a major shift into super brightness or super detailed, like the heart mirror or something like that. But it is differently tuned compared to the rest of the flock. So it does have a space in my favorites. Uh, and it's enjoyable for a long period of time. Um, that said, this has been the BQEYZ Summer. Uh, a really good sounding budget option and I can definitely highly recommend it because it's one of my favorites now as a matter of fact I'm gonna put it back on the cable back in the box and probably use it again tonight or maybe I'll try a different cable or something and then I'll get back to you and see how that changes the sound and do a follow-up with that but for now I absolutely like this um, I love it actually and you know, who doesn't like the summer? Look at that. Really nice looking, really good sounding. Uh, can highly recommend that the cable's all wrapped around my arm for some reason. I don't know how that happened. Um, I want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, we got more stuff coming up in the future. Bunch of things. Uh, just the mail's a little slow. I don't know why. But everybody still stay safe. We're not out of the woods yet. And uh, I'll see you somewhere out on the internet. Thank you so much.